Equestrian sports take a lot of commitment and dedication. I don't think anyone's ridden the perfect test yet in dressage. There's always room for improvement. Any rider that's at top level would have that attitude, otherwise they wouldn't be there. I grew up with horses being around. It was part of my way of life from a very young age. I always thought dressage was pretty boring, <laughs> and I was just more interested in cross country. The more I got into it, the more hooked I got on the perfectionism of it all. Energy. Good. Dad's been a massive influence on me and the way I work with the horses. One, two, three. <laughs> that was too big. Dressage is certainly the most technical sport uh, of the equestrian sports. It's unique in a way that you have preset movements in your Grand Prix, and it is a mixture between ballet and athletics and weightlifting. Six, seven years of training to come up to Grand Prix is quite a normal procedure. Having a team that I trust and I know will do things exactly how I want them is, is very important to me. I work on different things with the horses, depending on their age and their level they're at. We've also got a water treadmill, so some days they'll go on that in the afternoon instead of being ridden. The stamina of a dressage horse is at least as demanding as three-day event horse uh, during cross-country. The rider has to have a mentality in the training like a kindergarten teacher. Be very patient and make instructions easy to understand. Either you get them together that they are really becoming one unit or you haven't got a chance. Two, two one, two, good boy. You can always tell when that bond is strong and when there is a lack of harmony, the quality will always be less. The equestrian athlete has got four eyes, two brains, six legs, two arms and one tail. If they don't work as a partnership, then things might go wrong. Every sport has a psychological side. You've not only got yourself, you've also got a horse that you need to rely on, that you're both on form at the same time. The more spirit they have, the more they'll fight for you when the chips are down. Perfection is mandatory, and I think every rider, every judge is a perfectionist. There is such thing as the perfect dressage test. I've ridden it loads of times in my head. Have I achieved it? No. I want to be the best at what I do. In the run-up to a big competition, I'll visualize the test every night when I go to sleep. Once my little earpiece comes off, I sort of go into my own little world, into my own little zone. It just becomes instinct for me. Winnings, it's the most unbelievable feeling in the world. When all that training, all that time, it's just between you and the horse. It's an indescribable feeling.